presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to our man Dave in Clearwater. Hey, Dave, Happy New Year. What's happening, man? <clears throat> happy New Year, too, my brother. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, man. How you been? I am doing well, man. I'm doing well. Can I throw a quote out at you? Sure. <laughs> in the market, somebody knows something. Someone always knows something. That statement was made by a great trader by the name of Tom O'Brien about six, seven years ago. Oh, yeah. And it kind of hit me like a brick. You're right. Somebody always knows something. Hey, Carlos, what's going on, brother? I'm calling you back, Tom. This morning, I had a pleasure to talk to you and your son, and I don't want to miss the opportunity to talk to you again. Why? Well, I think you made some money on this bond. <laughs> oh, yes, Tom. Your newsletter helped me. That's a beautiful yeah. thing. We appreciate the growling problem in us out here. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. A little eclipse action. We just had the peak of it here. Love is unconditional. In love, there are no conditions. You love for no reason with no justification. You are free to, to be what you are, and you allow others to be what they are. Nugget wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up two, NASDAQ down 15, S&P's off two and a half, gold contract up five dollars and 40 cents, trading at 12.97 an ounce. Silver down two cents, 17 dollars and eight cents an ounce. Platinum up two bucks, 9.80 an ounce. Copper up four pennies at 2.97 a pound. Light sweet crude down a buck 13, $47.38 a barrel. Bonds, 10 year note, up two ticks, 126.26. 30 year bond up nine ticks, 156.04. King dollar, down 334 ticks, trading at 93.025. The euro is at 118 to the US dollar. The yen is out here at 108, almost 109 to the US dollar. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? You take a look at the spy, you're at 242.64. This thing is working its way down to the 239.95. That's your swing area from the 29th. You came down wide price spread, big volume last week. Volume wise, we did uh, 450 million. That uh, baby's going into 246 million as, as well as 402 million. NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX. NDX 100 came down last week. If we take a look at the three Qs, what you're going to see is that you came off that high, big volume on the way down. You did 222 million shares. We are at 140.76. This is making its way down to this 136.25. So that's quite a, a hit inside of uh, the Qs. Gold contract. What do we have with the gold contract? Gold contract, folks, is trading up 560. You are at two at 1297.20. What gold did last Friday is that it got up to a price point of 1306.90. You did 397,000 contracts. You were going into and still are going into the highs of June 6th as well as the high of of April 17th and you have volume on that move going higher. What you have also happening is that gold, folks, is going into the supply line from October and November. That's when gold came down fast and furious. If we take a look at the continuous contract, what you're going to see out here is that we went down on in October from $1,316 to 1249 in November, we had a price spread of 1338 to 1218. That's what gold has been doing. It's coming into that supply line. It's eating that supply line away. I expect what you're going to see is that we are going to launch this consolidation, the top of the consolidation, finish off the ABC structure, which is 1327 price projection, as well as get extended and go up to that 1377.50.
Now, if you come over to our website at TFNN, you're going to see that today is the 800th edition of the Gold Report, folks. And uh, if you go under breaking news, you can get that uh, Gold Report today absolutely free. I want to thank each and every one of all your tigers and tigresses out there for uh, all the support over the last uh, 20 years, 24 years on the radio, actually. Uh, this Gold Report, that's 15.3 years, which is pretty wild. So check it out on the front page of TFNN right under breaking news. You can uh, take a look at the Gold Report. Uh, oh, that being said, what we're also doing is that we're doing a special. And what that special is, is that, and this will be good just this week alone, you can get 60 editions of the Gold Report for $600. So that's $10 an edition. That's 50% off. That special is good only this week. Bonds. Let's go to the bond market. We take a look at the 10-year. 10-year out here, folks. Hanging right at the highs, we are 126.27. The high this is going after is 127.08. Uh, the longer we lay up here, it, this baby wants to take it out, and I expect we are going to take it out. We take a look at the 30-year. So interest rate-wise, the 10-year right now, 10-year is at 2.180. Bottom line, no matter what the Federal Reserve says, does, the market itself is buying notes, buying bonds, there uh, is more demand than there is supply. What does that do? That keeps the rates at a lower rate. King dollar. What do we got with king dollar? Check it out. So king dollar backing down today. You're backing down with 18,000 contracts. You're at 93. Uh, king dollar has been a mess since January 3rd. King dollar went from 103 all the way down to 92.39. Came off the bottom on the 4th. Uh, I suspect we got a dead cat bounce going. When it came off the bottom on the 4th, it did 31,000 contracts. You've done, at a swing high, you've done 40,000. We're backing down today with 18,000. Uh, this can get into the 92.580. You get into that with lighter volume. We'll see whether it rejects it. But I, I do expect you're going to see good old King Dollar still make a run up to this 95 and $96 area. Oil. What do we got with the oil market? Oil market highly volatile. This thing has been rocking and rolling in a huge way. Oil today went from a price point of 48.75. You are at 47.39 right now. And if we do take a look at this, uh, bottom line, this baby still looks to me that you are going to try. This is going to try to get into this $50 and 43 cents once again. Um, there's light volume all over the place today. Uh, the oil market has certainly taken advantage of it. They've been moving this thing around. I mean, extraordinary. On Friday. Uh, you went from a price point of uh, the 46.89. You shoot all the way up to 48.69. Today we go from 48.75 all the way right back down to 47.06. But guess what? You did this with dramatically lighter volume uh, in the marketplace. Some of the higher volume equities out here. This is what you have happening today. You have the advanced micro down 45 cents. Snap is down 54. You get Ford flat. We have uh, micro -tech, uh, technology down 81. Um, Freeport Mac Moran is up 56 cents. You got, uh, let's see, Nvidia is down $3. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Be right back, folks. <laughs> If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. 
In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Until recently, it was almost impossible for the average investor to hedge against currency risk in Europe or Japan. For a bold trade on Europe or Japan that protects against moves in currency, trade HEGE or HEGJ, two times currency hedged leveraged ETFs from Direction Investments. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now, uh, let's see. Dow Industrials right now are trading down one. NASDAQ's off 20. S&Ps are off three and a half. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Steve Rose, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the first hour. Don't forget, folks, Steve's got a sh great program right here at TFNN. Every trading day, 1 to 2 Eastern Standard Time. And don't forget, you can get all the programming at TFNN right on your cell phone. You go to TFNN.com, you hit Tiger TV. Steve also has a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. You can test drive this 30 days absolutely free the way you do it. Go to TFNN, go to newsletters, go to trading newsletters, test drive Mastering Probability 30 days absolutely free. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Well, congratulations on issue 800 of your gold report. Yeah, it's a trip, no doubt, man. <laughs> oh, tell me, man. Yeah, time just yeah. flies. There's yeah, no yes, it doubt. does. Yes, it it's... does. Hey, now, when you opened up your show, you said that love was unconditional. Yes. And that is true, but uh, bear markets are not. Bear markets are very conditional, or at least markets that want to correct are conditional. And what I mean by that is there's a certain pattern that uh, is present at the beginning of certainly every bear market and as well as every uh, every type of market where we get a correction. No one refer to bear markets. I'm referring to moves of 20 percent or more and corrections of 10 yes. percent uh, between 10. And, and this is an example here um, that I've shown a number of times where the 2007 top of the 2009 bottom. And we're talking about the Dow, which you said was just off a point or so. And uh, when the market moves higher, does with less energy, uh, that's where my system automatically draws these uh, black dots diagonal lines. And then what we do is we wait for a bullish or a bearish reversal signal. At a market top, we're waiting for a bearish reversal signal. And that's the Dow, and that's what we're going to focus on uh, during this segment. And, and over the last... Uh, century plus since 1900 we've had 34 bear markets and which means they've been occurring about one every three and a half years but since 1946 it's uh, slowed down just a tad that we've had 14 and so approximately one every five years and again a bear market folks I'm referring to a move of 20 percent or more from the actual high now the last bear market that occurred really most people think it was the 2007 to 2009 drop and if i switch over here just for a moment take a look at the s p 500 from the very high to the very low back in 2011 we actually had a 22 percent drop so as i take a look at bear market conditions for the indices i've got october of 2011 as the most recent one if we had five years to that we're overdue the last actual market correction 
where we had 10 percent or more, 10 percent between 10 and 20 percent, takes us back into between May of 2015 and February 2016. Now, the importance there is we typically see, Tom, since over the last 117 years, we've seen a market correction on average once every year. So February 2016, February 2017, we haven't had one yet. But what we do have that was confirmed last week, the week before, we actually had price moving higher, doing it with less relative energy. And hence, here we have the diagonal lines. We can see the bearish engulfing candle that formed. Also, was a key reversal session from a weekly standpoint. And I always like to see follow through on that very next candle session. In this case here, you and I were looking at a weekly chart, so follow through meant for the entire week. We have that. And so now we have what is typically a pattern that has been present in every bear market and most corrections out here. Now, what's interesting about this is this is occurring during the time period of the annual seasonal cycle, which is an unfavorable time period, which really begins July 21st on average. Most people think it's a sell in May. It's really the sell in July. Now, this year here, the and we use these as guidelines. Yes. Uh, we do is we really pay attention to the patterns that would form that would give us the clues of uh, of some type of top or some type of bottom. In this case here, we're taking a look at the top. So we're certainly in this unfavorable seasonal cycle. But what I want to people to understand is we're in store for some type of bounce. And we are forming, or the Dow is forming, an A to B equals CD to the downside. It hasn't completed yet. From the high, uh, we see this lightning bolt pattern. We're in the about the 1.272 expansion. We ha And the reason why it's not complete just yet is because just like those tops require some type of bearish reversal candle, this pattern here requires some type of a bullish reversal candle. We don't have it as of 322 in the afternoon. Maybe we will at four and if we don't maybe it'll be tomorrow i know that when it will occur we'll see some type of bullish reversal signal now that's going to set up a, a gartley buy pattern and it will pretty much look like this whether it's the 21,558 is just one price projection area that's just simply just a 0 0.382 retracement off of the november uh actually that's off of the may lows out here um, or at some other level, it's going to be that bullish reversal signal that I'll be looking for to let me know that the uh, that the Gartley buy pattern is underway. Now, what's really interesting about that is if you take a look at what's really happened here on this daily chart, is uh, this is the first time that we've actually broken a swing point. And you're the one that has coined the phrase, that's where the market squawk walks and talks out here. So considering that we are in an unfavorable seasonal cycle, if I take folks back to 2007, and even if you don't have any technical experience, what you want to do is you want to understand these swing points where we see changes in uh, trends in a in a market where we see tops and bottoms being formed. But it's really important when a swing point gets broken. So we have a swing point broken inside of the Dow. This year we're showing the Dow diamonds. And back in 2007, that's what this chart is looking for. Once that first swing point was broken, this too went on to form an A to B equals CD pattern. And when it completed out here, which was just below the 1 to 1.272 level, what we pay attention to is what happens because every Gartley buy or every A to B equals CD pattern has four or five different outcomes. And four of those outcomes are either just a dead cat bounce, a 0.382 retracement as shown here on this chart, or a 0.618 retracement, 786, or that 100% move of a move. Well, in this case here, it was just uh, between the 0.618-0.786 retracement. But what it did when the diamond started moving down is it started to form that lower high. And so it's just a simple series of lower highs, lower lows out there that are going to let us know whether we're into and the correction, the 10%, that's going to occur certainly before the bear market. And we'll pay attention to whether or not we continue to see lower lows out there. Uh, here you can see inside the diamonds, the second swing, that second, second swing point that was broken. And then you can continue to see the lower highs that were formed out there. So the last thing that uh, I'll be paying attention to uh, well, well, I'll be looking for the Gartley buy to form. That's number one. Then number two, how far does the market retrace? If the market goes back up to the uh, to the to the very high, then the pattern is kind of negated. But if it only makes a point six one eight retracement, maybe point seven eight six retracement, uh, then we've got our first set of lower highs. And now, uh, by the way, that that unfavorable seasonal cycle lasts through about the middle of October. So we'll know over the course of the next few weeks just exactly what we're looking at. And I will also be keeping 
keeping my eyes on these horizontal trading ranges because once you get above all the prior resistance, which is where the Dow is at, you want to pay attention to see how does price handle these different horizontal trading ranges. Inside the Dow, that number that everybody should be focused on is about the 21,230 level. That's where price should find some support, some significant support. And if it doesn't, it'll just be another indication to you and I that the correction or bear market has actually begun. So again, Tommy, congrats on on uh, newsletter 800 inside, uh, and and it's a beauty that you put it out there for everybody to access. So congrats to you on that. Thanks so much, man. Appreciate it. And folks, the way that you get Master and Probability, come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go to newsletters, training newsletters. You see Mastering Probability. You get a 30-day free trial right there. Thanks so much, Steve. Have a great one, a safe one. Of course, we look forward to the show tomorrow. Thanks, Tom. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Right back, folks. Hi, folks. The 800th edition of The Gold Report will be published next Monday. To celebrate the last 15 and a half years of calling the gold market, I'm doing a special promotion. You can receive 60 weeks of the Gold Report for only $600. That is $10 a week, which is a savings of 50% off the regular price. If you want to understand the entire supply and demand equations that move the gold market, including where the XAU, HUI, and mining equities are looking to trade, if you want to understand the correlation between the dollar, the yen, the South African rand, bonds, and gold, the Gold Report is for you. I'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop for each equity, ETF, future, or option trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter with a focus on building real wealth to a successful portfolio of gold and silver equities. You can take advantage of this special promotion until August 27th. That's 60 weeks of The Gold Report for $600, which is a 50% savings. Go to the front page of TFNN.com or call 877-518-9190 and order now. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world and to foreign currencies, and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. 5050-4051. Call them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge Heard Daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNM.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Dow Industrials right now are up 26. You get the NASDAQ down 8. S&P is a flat. Let's go take a look at the uh, XLE. So the XLE, folks, uh, has been uh, saying for quite some time uh, that this oil market, the physical oil market, is going to have a hard time of staying at higher price. And it's getting really intriguing here because uh, the XLE just can't catch a, a bid. Uh, the XLE from December of 2016 it was trading at 75. You're at 62 right now. Uh, we came down last week, and you came down with volume. You broke a B point. 
And it's a big one, too. Uh, let's see. So you get 76 to 74 million. Is this close? Well, you know, you need more volume on the break to, for confirmed ABC down. And this is what it was. It was going into 76 million to 74. Uh, but I'll give you the stat on this is that you get $75, $78 to 63. So that's 15 bucks. <clears throat> that lines up at a 52 A to B equals C to D. And f at 49, folks, you have a high volume low. So my take is that that's exactly where this thing is going to be heading. Um, Exxon Mobil, XOM. We take a look at Exxon. That's the largest weighting structure inside the uh, X, <coughs> excuse me, the XLE. Uh, this broke lower last week, has the volume behind the move. Uh, when we take a look at this, this also looks like it's going to make a run down to 66. Right now you're at 76. As soon as this got into the 79, uh, the last low was August of 2015. The high of that low was 79. The low is 76. You're at 70, uh, at 66 rather. So right now you're at 76. Bottom line, your probability is much higher that you're going to go to the bottom of that. Chevron. Uh, Chevron is the second largest weighting. Now Chevron's been a lot stronger than Exxon Mobil. Uh, that being said, Chevron just went from 111 to 105 in 10 days. Uh, we take a look at this. We put this on a weekly. Uh, what you'll this looks like it's going to try to get back into 102 first. And the real danger with Chevron is that it does have high volume at 85 to 75. So that would be a hit and a half. Uh, if I put this on a, a monthly, same type of setup in a monthly. Um, it, it certainly has a huge amount of support at 90 bucks, but we're still at 105. We take a look at the financial markets, the XLF, meaning the banks. Banks. Couldn't handle higher price, folks. Bottom line, uh, they've been trying to get up and over the March high since March. Uh, March 2nd, they, they, it was a 25.29. Got smoked, went down to 22. That doesn't, it's, it's only three points, but the, in the XLF, that's, that's a lot because you're still only dealing with something that's 25 bucks. Makes it all the way back up to the $25 area, stays up there for two months and still couldn't make it. That is a big indication that, number one, uh, this thing wants to try to get into lower price. And at number two, it looks to me, um, 2384 is game. If we break 2384, then you're going to be right at that 21 area. So uh, JP Morgan, we take a look at JP Morgan Chase. JP Morgan Chase, that was trying to get over this high of uh, 93, 92, couldn't handle it. Uh, three different times. It's got up over it, light volume. Now what you have, you're in the lower range. Well, you got back in the lower range. Um, that lower range says, guess what? Game is at uh, 81 bucks. So you start putting those together, and uh, that is pretty intense. And that's going to be real pressure on the markets as uh, trading really starts kicking in again. So what we have is this. You, you're at August 21st. Bottom line, you get Labor Day in a couple weeks. Uh, you will see um, the volume is going to start expanding. I expect you're going to, you know, the volatility is, has already come into play. Um, you know, last week the volatility started. Uh, right now, the where the VIX is at 1371, and uh, it hasn't got crushed as quick as it did the last time. Uh, you know, on the um, 10th of August, the VIX went from 11 to 16. On the 11th, it got up to 17, and within two days, it already got crushed back down to 1122. So what that meant is this: so when the VIX goes up very high, very quick. It means people are buying insurance and they're paying up for the insurance. That market's going down, right? When the VIX goes down this dramatically, this quickly, it means the complacency is right back in the market. People are buying everything. They're saying, okay, everything's great. Bottom line, what, ha what ends up happening? Last Thursday, you go topside again, you get to 1577. Friday, we get to a higher high of 1604. And even though the market, you know, realistically today, you get a flat market. I mean, the, mar the market, you know, you're down a couple points. It's realistically flat. But guess what? They're still buying insurance. So what you have inside that market is that the complacency is not quite there yet. They're still paying up for that insurance. And uh, I expect we're going we're to see that on a continual basis, meaning the next four, five, six weeks. XAU and the HUI. So what we have with the XAU, XAU trading uh, 85.30 right now. Uh, we had got to a high on Friday of 85.96. That's building cause to get up to your swing point 
of the 26th of July. That is 86.74. Now, gold bugs index, different ball game. And this is really great for the price of gold, and this is why. The gold bugs index has launched their swing points from where it, uh, right now, 199.39. It launched the swing point from August 1st. It launched the swing point from August 11th. It had the volume behind the move. We did 30 million shares versus 21 million versus 19 million. That says two different things. That says, number one, when the gold bugs index is stronger than the XAU, it is saying that the price of gold wants to go higher. That's cool. What's even better, though, is that because this index never backed down that much, this index here looks to me like it wants to trade all the way up to 216. And right now, you're at 199.35. Um, we'll see how that shakes out, meaning in the context that the dollar index still looks to me like it does want to get a, does have a bounce in it. And the, um, the physical gold itself, uh, each and every time that it has been coming up to the 1300 area, 1305 area, they basically, you know, bulls and bears are fighting like crazy over this whole area. Because what will happen is this. We pushed into both swing points last week with monster volume. I expect once you take this out, you're not only going to take it out, but you are going to take it out and with conviction that is huge. And what that would mean specifically is that you cut through it, number one, you have a huge price spread day, meaning that, you know, gold's going to be up $20, $30, $40. You get the volume behind the move, and that train just goes, and it goes to the next swing high, which actually is $13.97, I believe. Um, it's a big number. And that has been um, the aspect of the amount of cause that this contract has actually built. You know, the, the 13, let's see. Yes, oh, 1376, that's the number. Uh, it's been building quite a bit of cause. We've been, we've been trying to take this out since April 21st. And as I said on the update, it really has to do with October and November. October and November was vicious in the market, came down fast, furious. That supply line that actually starts in June of 2016 goes all the way over to November of 2017, of 2016 rather. That's, that's the supply line that this market is trying to take out right now. Uh, some of the higher volume stocks in this market, uh, as we come into the close out here, uh, you have uh, Micron Technologies down 81 cents. You get Cisco up 28. Uh, Rite Aid is up 2 cents. NVIDIA is down 239. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. 877-927-6648. Dow's up 24. NASDAQ's down 8. S&P's are flat. We're going to be right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen live during those shows and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming. See high definition video giving you crystal clear charts as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp full fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear high definition audio and video. Tiger TV exclusively at TFNN.com. Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund is currently offering four-year first mortgages on many of the fully renovated properties that it has purchased. The first mortgages are third-party appraised with a maximum loan-to-value ratio of 70%, providing a secured investment that pays a fixed return of 5% annually, which works out to a monthly income of more than $416 per $100,000 investment with your principal intact and secured. These four-year first mortgages are perfect for anyone looking for a secured investment that provides monthly income much like a CD. 
For more information, email tigerfund at tfnn.com or click on the Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund banner along the right side of the tfnn.com homepage or call our office directly at 877-518-9190. There's a limited supply, so act now. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. 877 927 6648. So, uh, what we're going to get have now, let's let's go uh, right here. This is so. We get Congress coming back, Senate coming back, administration coming back. Now they're going to be talking debt. They're going to be talking taxes. And so here's the first one coming out. This is going to be pretty wild watching this whole thing shake out the next couple of months, folks. So U.S. Uh, Tre Se Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin said Monday that President Trump may keep carried interest tax break for firms that create jobs while el eliminating it for hedge fund managers. Well, this is going to be a great, extraordinary battle setting up, folks. Uh, we will close the loophole for hedge funds and carried interest, uh, Mnuchin said at an event in Louisville, Kentucky today, where he appeared alongside Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. What we are focused on is that there are many types of funds that do create jobs, and we want to make sure that they don't discourage investment. The so-called carried interest loophole enables investment fund managers to pay a tax rate as low as 20 percent, roughly half the top tax rate for ordinary income on much of their income. Trump highlighted the uh, carried inter interest tax break during his populist presidential uh, campaign, labeling some hedge fund managers as paper pushers who are getting away with murder. The White House refers questions about Mnuchin's marks remarks to the Treasury Department, where a spokesman didn't immediately respond to the request. Uh, Mnuchin said Monday that the carried, uh, McConnell said Monday that the carried interest tax break would be considered during tax negotiations among congressional and White House officials. He added that aside from tax incentives for charitable giving and home mortgage interest, there is no point doing tax reform unless we look at all these preferences. Carried interest is, is a portion of the fund's profit, usually a 20 percent share that that's paid to private equity managers, venture capitals, hedge fund managers, and certain real estate investors. Currently, tax authorities treat that income as capital gains, making it eligible for the lower tax rate. The top tax rate for ordinary income is 39.6%. While Trump made the carried tax interest issue a campaign theme, many hedge funds don't benefit. But that's because the lower tax, lower capital gains rate applies only when assets are held for at least a year in many hedge funds. Hold assets far short for far shorter time frames, especially those who use computer-driven strategies to buy and sell. Under congressional rules, uh, budget on budget rules, the Senate leaders plan to use to plan to use to bypass the chamber's 60-vote threshold. Any tax cuts would have to be offset with new revenue for the cuts to be permanent. Bottom line: to cut to the chase, folks. This is how this is how this thing shakes out, and this is where the wall is going to come in. So what happens is that the, as they just said, there's a lot of hedge funds that if you buy and sell equities every single day, it doesn't matter whether you're a hedge fund, private equity fund, whatever it is, you're paying short-term tax rates, which 39% all day long, okay? In the hedge fund community, however, there's plenty of hedge funds that do hold equities way over a year. And it looks that reading what they're talking about right here, 
is that the equity bond off future wouldn't be future because futures and I'm definitely not holding it. Um, uh, they're going to go after those uh, that carried interest. That being said, and this is where this is where it's going to be the battle. Is that then what you're going to see is that the Blackstones of the world, the larger private equity, no, private real estate funds, private equity funds will not get taxed. And they definitely hold everything more than a year. Uh, so this is where, um, what's, what's intriguing about this is that you think they would have learned the first time when they, you know, were talking about the border tax. So the border tax, what was happening there is that you, what you pitted, you pitted the largest financial, not just financial, the largest corporations in the world, United States corporations in the world, against each other. Okay, so the bottom line, nothing's going to get done. Okay, it's not even close because they're running everything. Now you're doing the exact same thing, so I suspect nothing's going to get done inside that tax either because you, you just pitted the largest investors in the world against each other. And, of course, one side's going to say that, no, they are paper pushers. You shouldn't do anything. And the other side says, well, what are you talking about? The other side are not only paper pushers, but sometimes, depending on how many different so sorts of funds. So you have a, an M&A fund, okay, which would private equity fund would buy companies, supposedly make them better, put huge debt on the companies, and that always takes over a year, year and a half to put together. So the argument there will be, are they actually creating jobs or are they getting rid of jobs? And then, of course, then you get the real estate funds. Um, and th what happens with the real estate funds is that just about every real estate fund holds everything over a year and... Then the argument would be, is a real estate fund creating value or not creating value, meaning creating jobs? And, you know, that, that could be, that's going to be an argument, too. My, my point, more than anything, is that as one of the Tigers said that, guess what? Nothing's, well, figure that it's, nothing's going to happen. And that's, that's the essence of it. And I suspect that uh, when you're looking at this tax, nothing is going to happen. So, because they're claiming that this is going to be done by November. It's like, oh, really? I mean, it's August 21st today, okay? So we'll see where the, the baby shakes out um, with the markets and with the equities that are inside the markets because there's a, there's a certain, there's a, there's a few um, larger funds that actually do trade publicly and we're going to be able to see how they're trading and, and get to really understand uh, what the market thinks about it. Let's go take a look at the GDX out here. So the GDX uh, up 30 cents today. The last swing points. This is launching the swing point too. This is good. Uh, 32 million shares. Uh, we get 30 million shares right now. This is going to put more juice into the into the close. We did 55 million on Friday. You took out the swing points. This GDX wants to make a run up to this 24.88. Right now you're 23.26. If we take a look at uh, Barrick Gold ABX. What we have with uh, Barrick, Barrick hasn't launched the swing points yet, but Bar and Barrick is the largest weighting structure inside the GDX. You want to you see some action there. Uh, Newmont, Newmont is the second largest weighting inside the GDX. Uh, Newmont's launched it. Look, Newmont's strong, man. This is pretty cool. Uh, so Newmont's not only launched it, uh, but Newmont is right next to that, um, that high that uh, I suspect the rest of them are going for. Uh, we're at 36.82. The February high is 38. The April high is already taken out. And it's, uh, it didn't have the volume when it took it out, but it took it out. So this wants to go to the February high. So uh, as to the equities, that's a good indication that that baby uh, not only wants higher price, but more than likely we're going to see higher price. We go take a look at the RAND. Uh, RAND dollar is trading. And this is important for the South African uh, gold equities. Rand dollar right now is trading at 13.15. Uh, Rand dollar to one U.S. dollar. This has been in a consolidation for quite a while. The top of this consolidation right now is 13.62. The lows are 12.88. Um, you stay at that that price point with the Rand dollar. Those South African equities will be fine because what happens is that they get paid in U.S. dollars for their gold. They have all the expenses and Rand dollar. 
Dow Industrials right now up 34. Nasdaq's down two. S&P's are up a buck and a half. Gold's up 530. King Dollar's down nine, down 324. Be right back, folks. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of tfnn.com under trading newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. Don't forget. You can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up 21. NASDAQ is down one. S&Ps are up two. Don't forget, folks, uh, if you want to uh, get involved in the metal market, the gold market, um, now, this week is a great time to do it. Uh, I did my 800th edition of the Gold Report today. Uh, you can get that edition right under Breaking News. Uh, you can check out the whole edition right under Breaking News. We have a special that's going on this week, celebrating the 800th report. You can get 60 weeks of the Gold Report for $600. That's a 50% off. So check it out on the front page of TFNN. Uh, as you're out there, uh, don't forget, folks, every trading day in August... We are doing a contest on Facebook. Uh, the way that works, you go over to Facebook. You like us on Facebook each and every day. Uh, we have the, um, you would guess the market close of either the Dow Industrials, the NASDAQ, or the S&P 500. Uh, each and every day, uh, we have uh, uh, a different indice up there. Uh, you have to guess by 3.30 in the afternoon. So you like it, and then you put the guess inside the comment section. We do appreciate it. Uh, we're having a lot of fun with that. 
uh, market-wise out here. So uh, let's go take a look at it. So if we take a look at the SPY out here, SPY right now uh, is trading at 243.14. And what you're going to have out here, it's going to be interesting. So that's, uh, you got to a lower low. You're going to have a rejection of lower price. You're up 42 cents right now. That's saying that little bounce can come in uh, and... You know, we do a bounce, and we'll see, uh, is that bounce going to be on lighter volume, setting up a larger B2C of an ABC structure on the way down. NDX 100, let's take a look at the three Qs. Three Qs set up the same way. Um, you got to a lower price. You have light volume. Bottom line, looks like things want to bounce. It's going to need a heck of a lot of volume uh, on the way up to negate, uh, basically, a B2C of an ABC structure on the way down. We go to the small caps. So take a look at the small caps. Same setup in the small caps. Uh, small caps. Uh, small caps have got smoke. The small. The IWM uh, just went from 144 down to this 134 level. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming back with some numbers for you. Dow Industrials right now up 40. Nasdaq is flat. S&P's up a buck and a half. We're gonna be right back, folks. <laughs> You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to Marty in Worcester. Hey, Marty, what's going on? Uh, hi, Mr. O'Brien. How are you? I'm doing great. How you been, man? Not bad. You know, you guys, over the time and with a few of your courses and seminars, you know, you taught me how to fish. That's a beautiful thing, brother. Yeah, it's true. And so what happens is I still listen all all the time, and to not only you, but some of the others, sure. to, you know, get an idea where the fish might be biting. As far as your services, they're a bargain. When you compare them to a certain prominent man with real estate courses at $35,000 and no contact with the lecturers afterwards at all, and you think of what you guys do for a few hundred, and you can get access and ask questions forever, you know, it's a great deal. No, no, we appreciate the growling problem with us out here. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Saw a great eclipse out there. Pretty wild. Create. The perfect relationship between you and your body. Treat your body with all love, honor, gratitude, and respect. When you make it a goal to adore your body and accept yourself completely, you'll learn to have the perfect relationship with anyone else you are with. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials up 29, NASDAQ down 3, S&P's up 1, gold contract up $5.80, trading at 1297 an ounce. Silver, flat. $17.07 an ounce. Platinum, up three and a half bucks at $9.81 an ounce. Copper, up four pennies, $2.98 a pound. The copper contract, folks, has not only been getting uh, a big bid underneath it, it looks like copper was going to make a run to $3.08 a pound. Light Sweet Crude, just the other way. Uh, they, they hit Light Sweet Crude down a buck ten, $47, 41 cents. That being said, Guess what? You still have a high volume bar up there at 50. We've been oscillating and with some high volatility between this 47 and 50 area. I do expect you're going to make a run to 50 once again. 
Notes, 10-year note up three ticks, 126.27. 30-year bond up 11 ticks, 156.06. Both notes and bonds, folks, continue to build cars to get up to their June highs. The 10-year right now is a laying right beside it. King dollar, king dollar down 334 ticks, trading at a price point of 93. Bottom line, king dollar is back into where it came off the bottom. Dramatically lighter volume. We'll see whether it rejects lower price. I expect it's going to, good old king dollar still looks like it wants to do a good old dead cat bounce. This 95 to $96 area. The euro is trading 118 to the US dollar. The yen is at 108 and a half to the US dollar. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Wanna know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so the spy closed out here 242.92. Bottom line, you get a little doji in the middle of this downdraft. Uh, many times that's just the halfway point. We take the top of 248. You're at the 242. Bottom line, 236 is coming at you. And 239 is the swing point that you do have a high volume low at of the 29th. The 235 and 36, guess what that is, folks? That is the May 17th and 18th area. That's exactly where I expect we're going to be going. Uh, that's where we first came down. Uh, the SPY hadn't broken yet. The NASDAQ broke uh, on in May. Bottom line, the S&Ps had come down, shook it off, got up to another high of 245, should build cars for two or three months, got up to a higher high of 248. Bottom line, I expect what you're going to have here is this. That first, it wants to go into the lower part of the trading range it's at, which is 239. We'll see what kind of volume there, but this other one's sticking out like a sore thumb uh, at this 235.43. The NDX100, same type of setup. NDX100 out here today, uh, we had an oscillation. We had non-decision out here, uh, that another little doji. So the top is 145, we're at 141. That's saying it wants to go to 136, and 136 is the low, it's 135.80 to be exact, is the low where I expect this baby's going to go. See, the one, and, and inside the NDX 100, we've already hit the 135.80. That is what the low was of May also. The difference is, is that when we came back down in June, you actually came down with expanded volume. When we just came down last week, you had expanded volume. And what is that saying? Well, guess what? The, fir the first low when we came down with the Qs was 55 million. The second low was 109 million. The third low off the top was 80 million, and last week we came down with 60 million and 70 million. Bottom line, that is building cause to get down and at least test out these lows of 135.87. Gold contract, what do we have with gold? Gold contracts have been building cause to get up and over these swing highs. Uh, another good performance out here today. You had a low of 1286, you're trading 1297. You've done 208 and 52,000 contracts. On Friday, we did 397,000 contracts. Bottom line, that being said, I do expect, number one, it has to build a bit more cars to get up and over this area. And the reason being is of how we came down when we actually came down uh, with big volume during October as well as November of 2016. Today's the uh, 800th edition of my gold report, 15.3 uh, years. We caught onto the gold market, folks, at 282.50. Um, we're doing a special out here. Uh, if you'd like to see what a gold report looks like, just go into breaking news. That 800th edition is right there. We also have a special that's going on this week, and only this week. You can get 60 editions of the gold report for $600. That's a 50% off. So if you're interested in that market, check it out on the front page of TFNN. We're going to take a look at the bond market. Bonds are also generating um, lower prices. Uh, we're at 126.27 inside the bond market. The high that it's going after is 127.08. Uh, we're laying up at these highs, and I suspect, number one, it's going to get least tested because the bottom of the high was 126.10. We're at 126.27. We've been up here into that bar for quite some, well, when I say quite some time, seven or eight days. The longer that you stay into the bar, number one, the higher the probability is that you're going to get the test, and we'll see whether it can get up and over it. 
uh, because the bottom line is that we get up and over that bar, you're going to see a very fast expansion inside the marketplace. Uh, we go to the 30-year bond, what we have with the 30-year, 30-year right now is at 156.05. That baby is going after the 157.28. If you put this on a continuous contract, what you're going to see is that the bottom of the November bar is 155. Now, 156.05 is not telling you that we're going to go to the top of it just yet. Um, the top of this bar in November was 164.31. That's almost 165. The bottom is 155. That being said, I expect, number one, that we're going to try to get into the 157 to 158. You get into that 157 and 158 with a 30 year, guess what? That sets up the top of the bar, which is 164. That sets up higher prices, lower yield. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Dow Industrials finished up 29, NASDAQ down 3, S&P's up 1. We're going to be right back. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock in option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls. Now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I know what's going on in your world. Now, let's go to the world of platinum, folks, okay? So, we, I, ha I specifically happen to like platinum. Um, and, you know, platinum is something that has stayed under the price of gold for over two and a half years now. 
And that's so unusual, folks, it's pretty amazing, actually. But bottom line, it has, okay? That being said, there's not a lot of platinum equities that you can play in the United States. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a, a little gift out here. Um, and this equity, folks, I don't... Y, y, there's, there's a couple of different things that are happening. I was going to put this in the goal report, and I didn't because of the fact that the liquidity is really not enough for the gold report. Because what ends up happening is that uh, there's, a, there's a lot of investors, and the bottom line is that you can get in something, but if you're getting out of something, it's a little bit tougher. But, so check this out. I'm gonna, uh, first, I'm going to give it to you in, the, in South Africa. So it's Impala Platinum. Impala Platinum Holdings, okay, they, they trade at 3,920 Rand. Now, this is a monster company. This company does uh, over a million ounces of platinum a year, okay, which, you know, it's, a, it's the second largest platinum company in the world. So when we take a look at this, right, you know, the, if you want to see something that's dramatic because platinum has taken such a hit, this company here, Traded, let's put this back, I'll put this back 15 years. So it traded at 36,000 Rand in 2008. It crashed down to 8,600 Rand, goes sideways, and then even hit a lower low, and this hit this lower low January of 2016 at 2,227. That being said, guess what? It looks to me that this little baby's bottomed out. Okay, so bottoms out. Great, if we're in South Africa, guess what? No problem. The, the, it trades, you know, almost 2 million shares every day. That being said, what does happen is this. It trades in the United States. Now, it, it traded good out here today. Normally, the reason I, normally it only trades about 20, 30,000 shares. Now, it trades under the symbol IMPUY. Um, bottom line, the low for the year is two dollars and fifty-three cents. The high is five fifteen, uh, and this is where the, the the problem is. And so, I, if you're aware of this going into it, it makes a difference. Um, last week, it traded twenty-two thousand shares a day, sixteen thousand twenty-seven twenty-five, and <laughs> this morning, it, today, it traded one hundred twenty thousand shares. And what I'm trying to figure out, actually, this is pretty wild. I got to look at this goal report again because I had made all charts and everything, and I pulled it at the very end. I don't think, I don't think the charts are in there. Um, but anyway, and I'll find out. But it did 120,000 shares today. This, if, you, if you're going to get, if you want a trade in platform, platinum, take a look at it. Um, it's, it's a neat setup. Um, but don't go overboard, man, because if this goes the wrong way, when you only have 22,000 or 30,000 shares that trade in a day, uh, it'll be tough to get out of. When I, when I take a look at this, you know, you're at 298, yeah, it, it, can, it can get up to this 523 in, in about a heartbeat. And you'd have to be a bull in platinum. Um, and if we go take a look at platinum again, what you're going to see is this. PLC, if I put this on PL1, a continuous contract, what you're going to see is the high in platinum, 2008, was 2300 It crashes in the crash to $761. Bounces to $1,918. Comes all the way down, makes a low at $812. Bottom line right now, you're laying out here at, eight, at 985 If we do that correlation and the... Uh, the difference between the gold contract, what you're going to see, and, and platinum is a much rarer material than gold. Gold's at $12.90. So, you know, just the trade itself, and you've heard me talk about this many times, um, that inverse correlation that platinum has been under gold um, has been there over two, two, two and a half years now. My take is that that will change again. Bottom line, though, um, you got to do your own homework on this deal. But that equity there, as uh, that's, I, I, if you want to be in the platinum market,
that's a way that you can get in it without uh, basically getting into the physical part of this market. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Uh, we get over and we take a look at the uh, Herbalife uh, HLF. Herbalife, the battle continues inside the Herbalife with uh, Icon, um, Carl Icon and uh, Ackman. Uh, bottom line is that uh, Icon and Herbalife did a deal today, and I believe they're doing a, a buyback. The battle between billionaire investor Kyle Icahn and Bill Ackman over the future of Herbalife just turned up a notch. Uh, the, the company disclosed the barrage of news Monday that sent the stock uh, up 10%, including now dead talks to go private, a new share buyback plan, and a pack with this big investor Icahn. The statement dealt a quick blow to Ackman and others who have bet against the company uh, while handling a paper profit to Icahn. Um, so let's see where they stand right now. I, Icon itself, folks, he was, he's been on a, a good streak. Well, he was on a good streak a few years ago. Uh, lately, he's been getting smoked. Um, so Icon right now owns 24% of it. Um, you have, uh, that's on the positive. Yeah, he owns 24% of it. It was up 6% today. This has been a consolidation for a long period of time. And, you know, we'll see uh, how this shakes out. But when I take a look at this, this still has a high volume low at $24, man. So it looks to me that on a long period, man, this guy's been in there forever. But in a long period, that's going to be where it wants to go down. Um, uh, Icon has had uh, a couple serious... Uh, problems uh, inside a, a few of the equities. One of the biggest ones was Hertz. Uh, you know, Hertz, when you take a look at Hertz, uh, that baby has gone from a price point of $125 down to 17 and I believe he's also the largest owner inside of Hertz. There's a, there's a few others. Yeah, it is. He owns 34% of Hertz. He's been doubling and tripling down on the way down. Uh, we'll see whether he can get, get himself out of that. Let's go to uh, Rick in New Hampshire. Hey, Rick, what's going on? Uh yeah, F-E-N-G. Okay, let's take a look. This is uh, Phoenix New Media. It's an ADR. Right, uh, okay, I so... I bought it for 369 on the 17th, and I sold it today at 457 Good for you, man. That's a beautiful thing, brother. So... And what I want to know is where would it be a good entry point if it pulls back? Okay, so let's take a look at it. So... This company, uh, it's a new media company, provides premium content uh, in China. The low is 243, the high is 481. You stay right there, and we'll be coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow finished up 29, NASDAQ down 3, S&P's up 1.5. We're going to be right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank Bank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Hi folks, the 800th edition of The Gold Report will be published next Monday. To celebrate the last 15 and a half years of calling the gold market, I'm doing a special promotion. You can receive 60 weeks of The Gold Report for only $600. That is $10 a week, which is a savings of 50% off the regular price. If you want to understand the entire supply and demand equations that move the gold market, including where the XAU, HUI, and mining equities are looking to trade, if you want to understand the correlation between the dollar, the yen, the South African rand, bonds, and gold, the gold report is for you. 
I'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop for each equity, ETF, future, or option trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter with a focus on building real wealth to a successful portfolio of gold and silver equities. You can take advantage of this special promotion until August 27th. That's 60 weeks of The Gold Report for $600, which is a 50% savings. Go to the front page of TFNN.com or call 877-518-9190 and order now. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m. Followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts and keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We had the Dow finish up 39, NASDAQ down 3, S&P's up 1.5. We're talking with Rick from New Hampshire, and we're talking about F-E-N-G. Uh, so, uh, no, F, yeah, F-E-N-G, F-E-N-G. Now, this equity, man, holy cow, you talk about uh, some volatility. Um, so what made you get into this first off, Rick? I'm glad you made money. I'm just curious, well, how, why'd you get into it? I bought it on the breakout. Okay. So what happened, folks, is that last week this equity was trading at 275, uh, breaks top side to 396. Uh, Friday it gets to 481. Today it tests that area, does it with light volume. Yeah. I'm, I. Okay, so a normal occurrence like this when you break top side like this, your first level is 396, but I wouldn't touch it there, man. This is way too volatile. I mean... The buy is like at three dollars, Rick, all the way back, right where you got it the first time. You know, just a little okay. above it. Okay. Yeah, this is this is quite a vault of equity, but that's where the buy would be. It should pull back on low volume, though. Yeah, exactly. Correct? Just sit there and wait, wait, wait. You know, and then most of the time, when you get some a move like this, well, this gave it up pretty quick today, actually. You know, we this went from 478 to 407, like in a heartbeat. So, I mean, if you, if you get 273 or three bucks, man, with light volume, yeah, you can be all over it because, you know, then, then you know, it, this is a good swing point at 4, 481. It took out the other swing point, you know, it's only a small swing point, but it still took out 430 with volume, big volume, too. So, you, you get a start of something, that's for sure. Well, nothing's for sure in the market, but that, it's probability-wise, it's a good setup. Okay, thank you much. Okay, man, have a great one. Have a safe one. I love this one, folks. You know, today's the 800th anniversary of uh, the Gold Report 800th edition. Uh, now, this is absolutely wild, man. So, Steve Mnuchin today was, uh, he, he must have been in rare form, but this is a good one. I'm digging this. So, Steve Mnuchin, U.S. Secretary Steve Mnuchin will check out the nation's gold stash when he pays a rare visit to Fort Knox this coming Monday. Check it out. Uh, well, keeping an open mind for future film projects. I, I think the open mind for fil future film projects, folks, is just the right of saying that. But, hey, we'll find out. Uh, this is his quote today, though. I assume the gold is still there. The former Hollywood producer joked to an audience in Louisville, Kentucky, uh, 40 miles away from the U.S. bullion um, depository. Well, I guess, oh, this is great. He's going there today. It would be really quite a movie if we walked in and there was no gold. So Fort Knox has been seared into the public imagination since 1964 Bond movie Goldfinger, in which the British spy, played by Sean Conroy, foiled the plot to uh, contaminate the nation's bullion. Mnuchin, whose action film credits include Mad Max, Fury Road, the Lego Bat Batman movie, and Suicide Squad, said that he will be only the third secretary, Treasury secretary, who has gone inside the vault since it was created in 1936 by President 
Franklin Delano Roosevelt. That's pretty weird when you think about it, you know, that only three of them have gone in there. We have approximately 200 billion of gold at Fort Knox, said Mnuchin. The last time anyone went in to see the gold, other than the Fort Knox people, was in 1974, when there was a congressional visit. The last time it was counted was actually in 1953. Um, and so that's going to be intriguing. I, I love the idea, number one, he's going in. Um, you know, why? Because uh, guess what? It, it, it blows my mind, actually, that the last time it was counted in 1953, right? If he had, you know, anything, any other accountability, you know, should be accounted for, right? You shouldn't wait almost uh, 75 years for an accountability of it. Um, bottom line, it's nice that uh, he's going in and we'll get a report back, I'm sure. Um, that is pretty cool, no doubt about it. 877. 9276648. Let's go take a look at the euro. The euro out here. So we're going to have the euro, folks. I expect you're going to have uh, some volatility out here. Uh, you know, you get Jackson Hole coming up. There's going to be a lot of speeches between Draghi, between um, all these uh, foreign central bank um, chair folks, and that's going to keep volatility inside. Uh, the currency markets. Right now, the euro uh, that uh, traded up uh, from 117 today to 118.28. Uh, your high up here. Now, it's coming into the downdraft of the fourth. Uh, the fourth was a big day up here, just as if we bring up the dollar, what you're going to see, same type of setup. That's where the dollar is coming into. Uh, that's when the dollar finally got off. Well, we'll find out whether that's the bottom. I don't think it's, I think it's only a short term bottom myself. Uh, that's where the dollar went from a price point of 92.580 to 93.640. And, uh, you know, it looks to me like the dollar is dollar's doing a much larger ABC structure on the way down. Now, what's going to get intriguing here is this, is that if, in fact, the, the dollar index, that that's all the bounce that could get going, this is going to be pretty intense because this is saying that you actually have a, a 10-point ABC structure on the way down, and you have a price projection of 82. Right now, my take is that, you know, you're going to get up to about the 95, 96 area, and this wants to do an ABC structure down to the 88 area. The reason that the 82 would be so heavy is that if, in fact, we get into the 88 area by even a couple points, that is setting up a 72 area. And the low, the long time low on this was established in March of 08 at 70.805. So we're going to know real quick, this is the cool thing about this, okay? Because we're, we're very close to that low. And if we break that low with volume, oh man, get out of the way. And that, that, that'll uh, basically you talk about volatility, man, that would be pretty intense because what you will have is that that gold contract will go to the moon and go to the moon very quickly. If we take a look at the Canadian dollar, the Canadian dollar continues to get a lot stronger. The Canadian dollar has been trading at 130, was trading 137 three months ago, 137 Canadian dollar to $1 USA. Now it's 125 to $1 USA. Uh, if in fact, that baby, uh, if the our dollar keeps going down, then good old, the gold Canadian dollar again will be back to 108 Canadian dollars to one U.S. dollar. That would be quite a move because the Canadian dollar was 146 in January of 2016. You know, uh, it had almost got down to, in fact, it did get down to par. This, this, the Canadian dollar, which the Canadians were never used to, actually got under, I think it hit 99. Let me see this. Yeah, we hit, it. we did. Okay, so in 2008, we hit 90. You know, by the, in the middle of the month, it was 90. So in, in the end of the month, it was par. Then we, we hit it again in 2011. And since 2011, you know, bottom line, uh, it was 94. So almost par. And then it went all the way back up to 146. So you can see, if that is an extraordinary hit. That is absolutely an extraordinary hit. Um, and in Florida, uh, it makes a huge difference for the amount of uh, tourists that come down here, the amount of real estate they own. Uh, it, it's all across the board. So uh, economy-wise, they 
absolutely no currencies upside down, and they have to. You can see why they have to. 877-927-6648. Dow Industrials finished up 29. NASDAQ down 3. S&P's up 1. We're going to be right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen live during those shows and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger's TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back. So let's go to uh, Bob in Massachusetts. Hey, Bob, what's going on? How are you doing, Tom? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Oh, fantastic. Uh, I have a couple of questions. Uh, there was an article in the Wall Street Journal last Friday about the gold supply underneath the streets of New York. And today, our secretary is going for a walk through Fort Knox. Uh, Do you think something's up? <laughs> no, no, no. But I, I like the idea that he's going to go to, that, you know, he's going to go in there because, you know, he's going to come out and tell us, you know, hopefully that the gold is there. But I like the uh, idea that when I just read that, it's pretty amazing that only three people have been in there in 75 years. So yeah, why do you think? Why would that be? I mean, no one's well, curious. I, no one. What is what has happened in the past is that there is the central bank doesn't like gold. The government doesn't like gold. What happens with gold, folks, is that you know you get freedom. Okay, and the last thing the feds want is that you know fiat money, plastic money keeps people down basically. You know, on 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 a basis. So 
it's in their best interest to not get people excited about gold. I like the idea that he's going in, so at least he's going to come out and he's going to say something, you know. And so that's that's good responsibility, I think, you know. Uh, do you think the government's suppressing the price of gold? I think it's just not only the government; it's anyone and everyone in the finance business, you know. It's just so they're like, working to conspire to keep the price down. I wouldn't say they're working. Uh, so watch. When you conspire with something, what it means is that. I would call you up, right, or I would say to you, hey, Bob, you're, you're working for another firm, right, that, hey, we got to keep the price of gold down, okay, because if it keeps going up, people are going to say they're going to be worried about something's going on, and uh, we can't make any money on gold going up, so w why would we do this, right? My take mm -hmm. goes like this, and my take goes like this on a lot of things, folks. If you, if you see large companies, the way that CEOs and CFOs get to large companies you have to understand not to ask the question. There's there's, because if they don't want to get in trouble, they don't want to go to jail, you, there's incredible corruption that takes place. We know it because we can see how many fines take place, right? So right. the learned behavior there is you watch what's going on, you don't say anything. So let's go back to the gold market for a second. If I was trading bonds or if, if I was in one of these large firms, bottom line, You'd understand it. Hey, man, you know, you could be over there, and if it was in my best interest to keep gold down, your best interest, I wouldn't have to talk to you. You'd know intuitively that that's the case. You'd know fundamentally that that's the case. And then you'd also know that, see, the gold market's a very small market. So if you're at Goldman, I'm at Morgan Stanley, bottom line, you're trading. I mean, so to cut to the chase and, and answer you, to me, all markets are always being operated by operators and operators it, the, the, the cool thing is that it's a huge market and no one can continually keep the price either up or down for long periods of time that's that's my take on it well so in other words you're saying the supply and demand is the most important it is demand. it is because it comes out just like what i'm trying to figure out right now it's like okay man so if everything, you know, it seems to me the economy's been going good for a long period of time. Well, it has. I mean, give me a break. The, the Dow's at highs. You know, we crashed in 2007. The dollar index is like, okay, so why is the dollar getting crushed? That, that's so intriguing to me right now. I, I totally understood it in 2001, uh, 2002 when I started the Gold Report. We were at 121. You know, it looked like it wanted to get crushed. It got crushed. You know, right now it's like, okay, man, why is this dollar getting crushed? What is, what is the what is the fundamental reason? Technically, I can see that it wants to go down. We'll find out. We'll find out why this dollar is going down, man. Well, would you say that uh, the smart money is trying to exit the dollar into other currencies? I don't know. I, if, I, if I knew, I'd, I'd say it. That, I don't know. Right now, that, that is a wild card, I think. Do you know what I mean? Because normally what ends up happening, a currency is a strong, the way currencies work fundamentally is that if you have a strong economy as a country, your currency is very strong. It looks to me like our you know, economy's fine. It has been fine for quite a while. Well, the dollar's getting smoked, you know, and Europe, you know, looked to me like it's a mess, and guess what? Their euro's going up. So we'll yeah, find out. Nothing we'll find out sense. pretty quickly. Hmm? Uh, I, have, I have one more question. Uh, AEM, what do you think of AEM? I like the stock. So you got an eco eagle, you know, an eco eagle. The low for the year is 35. The high is 57. You're trading at 47 right now. Now, do you own it? Are you looking to buy it? What are we doing? Well, I own it now. I was just wondering an exit point. Uh, you know. I would, I would hold this a bit. Okay, you, you, this is a strong stock, man. Um, you know, it pushed last week in volume. It's trying to you get into. This is the same as all the rest of them. They're trying to get into October and November. Uh, what this has already done, it's already halfway through the bar, which is, that's what makes it so strong. So the, the October bar, folks, the high of that was 54, the low is 40, 44. You see how you have 47? This looks to me like, you know, we, if we launch this $50 area, you, you know, you're going to be up at that $60 area pretty quickly, man. That's kind of how this thing has been laying out. So I just stay right there, man. Just hang tight. Yeah, okay. hang tight. All right. Well, okay, thank man. You very much, Tom. Have a All great right. one, man. Have a safe one. And you know, folks, if you do have an interest uh, inside the uh, gold market, uh, come over to our website at TFNN. 
Uh, today was the 800th edition of the Gold Report. Um, and it, it's free. It's right on the front under breaking news. You can get that edition. Um, you won't, you know, we have a special that's going on this week. Uh, it's half price. You can get 60 editions of the Gold Report for only $600. So check it out on the front page of TFNN. Uh, I was bringing it up a little bit earlier. Uh, if you uh, like platinum, uh, bottom line is that uh, Impala Platinum, don't just jump right into this in the U.S. You got, you got to look at it because uh, it is illiquid. Today it happened to be liquid. There was 120,000 shares today, but most days it only trades um, 20,000. Now, I didn't put that in the gold report because it is so illiquid. That's illiquid in the U.S. In South Africa, folks, they do 1.2 million ounces of platinum a year. In South Africa, that trades... 2 million shares a day. So it's plenty there, but uh, don't go overhead if you decide that you do want to go uh, into something like that. And, you know, when you take a look at this platinum market, um, I still, I like gold, but because of the as aspect that uh, platinum has been under gold uh, for over two years, if you are going to go into something on the physical basis, uh, I would still buy platinum. That's uh, because platinum very well could have just set up a monster ABC up. Your A point on this is 891. Your B is 996. So you're talking about 110 bucks, which would get you <coughs> up to the 1,060 level. So your, uh, your swing point up there from February is 1,000, uh, 1,027, I think, 1,045. You know, so the, the setup, the setup's pretty good um, in order to get the higher price. Because when you talk precious metals, the reason that platinum well, there's less platinum in the world. Uh, it's much harder, the ore is much harder to get the platinum out of the ore. It takes a longer period of time. There's less of it in the world. And what does happen is that actually platinum gets used versus every ounce of gold in the world, folks, that has ever been mined. Gold doesn't get used. Platinum gets used, so guess what? There's less of it every single day. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Dow Industrials finished up 29, Nasdaq down three, S&P's up a buck and a half. We'll be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. With over $56 million in cash and over $66 million in working capital, Great Panther Silver is positioned as a company with a solid foundation and poised for growth. 
While completely unhedged to the price of silver, Great Panther retains 100% ownership in two producing mines in Mexico, which is the top silver producing country in the world, along with future potential production in Peru. Great Panther is highly leveraged to the price of silver, and after a great year of performance in 2016, Great Panther Silver has a strong outlook for 2017 as well. With good liquidity in trading and strong fundamentals on the balance sheet, while remaining completely unhedged to the price of gold and silver, now is a perfect time to take a closer look at this equity. If you'd like to find out more about Great Panther Silver, then go to greatpanther.com or check them out on the NYSE market, symbol GPL, or the TSX, symbol GPR. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. And as we uh, take a look at the market out here, let's let's uh, let's go over this market. So, uh, when we take a look at the S and P, what you have is this, folks. We, if you look at the futures right now, futures are trading at a price point of uh, twenty four twenty eight. Uh, we got into a low today out here of uh, twenty four fifteen. Uh, bottom line, I expect what you're going to see out here as we move our way through the night is that this. Uh, and tomorrow is that this wants to get down into this 2400 area. Uh, that would take the SPY, the SPY. Uh, we oscillated around the lows of 241 today, the highs of 243. It closed out at 242.90. That would set up a SPY that wants to try to get into 239.95. Uh, now, we definitely did out here in all the indices, as well as the ETF structures, you're down on light volume. The difference is, uh, is that this couldn't get any traction. You know, uh, as we got very close to the close out here, it looked like you were going to get a full rejection of lower price uh, with lighter volume. You didn't get that, however, because what you got uh, is like, the, if we look at the Qs, the Qs uh, traded to a low of 140. It had a high of 140, 153, and it laid out and closed out at 140, 105. Now, what that sets up, you know, you're still into this lower range. This sets up still that this, these Qs want to get down to 135.80. And the 135.80 and the Qs are pretty intense. The reason being is that that was also the low of May 18th. And that's where this market looks like it wants to go. If we take a look at the composite, the NASDAQ composite, also the composite, bottom line, oscillated low of 61.77, high of 62.26. You traded out, look closed out, 62.13. That little baby's trying to make it down to its swing point of 6,081. Now, the low of the 18th is 59.96. And what I do expect you're going to see is that we're going to be making our way down to that area. Uh, what you are going to have, of course, is that Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, you can get volume to expand. Check out the gold report on the front page of TFNN, folks. You can get the 800 edition. It's absolutely free. It's right under breaking news. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. And whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Look forward to speaking right here, 9 o'clock. Grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. The 800th edition of The Gold Report will be published next Monday. To celebrate the last 15 and a half years of calling the gold market, I'm doing a special promotion. You can receive 60 weeks of The Gold Report for only $600. That is $10 a week, which is a savings of 50% off the regular price. 
If you want to understand the entire supply and demand equations that move the gold market, including where the XAU, HUI, and mining equities are looking to trade, if you want to understand the correlation between the dollar, the yen, the South African rand, bonds, and gold, the gold report is for you. I'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop for each equity, ETF, future, or option trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter with a focus on building real wealth to a successful portfolio of gold and silver equities. You can take advantage of this special promotion until August 27th. That's 60 weeks of The Gold Report for $600, which is a 50% savings. Go to the front page of TFNN.com or call 877-518-9190 and order now. The tab